Hi, this is Nell Foster for eHow.com and today I'm going to tell you how to grow a dwarf jade. And this is my very own dwarf jade growing in my front yard. It started as a little four inch pot and now it is a good size. I've taken cuttings of it. There's one back here. I have one in the garden over there and it has even dropped off some some of its own um, stems and they're growing in, in the rocks here. But this one gets, gets morning and midday sun. It's on drip irrigation. I'm here in Santa Barbara where it's very dry so I do um, have my garden on drip. I've got most of it on drip. It gets about 12 minutes of water a week is about it. Outside it doesn't get any pests or insects so it's really easy and the cuttings are very easy to take. You just reach down. I'm going to take this one here because it's starting to get down. Just take a cutting right there and I like to do my cuttings at an angle and you'll just let it heal over. Healing over means you just let it be, let it dry up for about the end dry over for about anywhere from two weeks to two months and then you can just plant it back in the ground again. Now indoors this is a common house plant, the jade and the regular jade, the bigger jade and this smaller jade and you would like to give it lots of bright bright light and you can have it in a south window, a west window, just as long as it's not touching the glass so it's going to burn and you want to let it really dry out in between waterings because it doesn't like to be wet. It doesn't like to sit in water either. These leaves are very fleshy and the stems are very fleshy and they hold water. So the worst thing you can do to your jade is to kill it with kindness and water it every other day or every few days. If I had it inside I would probably water it about once a month. I just give it a good soak in the sink, let it run through and then put it back out. And it will probably get mealybug inside because I grew up back in New England where we had a greenhouse and we had a jade and it would always get mealybug. So you merely take a rubbing alcohol and you dilute it with water about one part alcohol to about four parts water and then take a q-tip and where you see the mealybug it looks like cotton. It's that white cottony insect and you just and you just swab, swab it. If it's a big plant, you, you might want to put that mixture in a spray bottle and spray it. And it's a great house plant too because it, it can take the dry air because our homes tend to be a little bit dry because of heat and or air conditioning. So it's just as easy as can be to take care of. And these plants can be pot bound for a while. So don't worry if you have it in the pot for a, a long time. If you th think it's showing signs of stress or you think it needs to be repotted, then just g give it a pot like a size or two bigger is all. And you want to use a mix that is very light. You don't want a heavy soil mix. So you want to use something like a cactus mix. There is a cactus mix or a potting soil, a very light potting soil that has a lot in it to amend and the drainage. This is Nell Foster for eHow.com and I have just told you how to grow a dwarf jade.